I have no idea why I feel this compulsion to explain things to you. Maybe it's my way of drawing this brief chapter to a close. Or maybe it's because I believe that people touch each other, even when their paths cross so fleetingly. For days after we met, I felt elated. There was a moment late in the evening when we held each other's gaze amid the heady whirl of drunken conversation. You cocked your head a few degrees to the right and smiled. I knew you were thinking, it's you. <laughs> I realized then that I had assumed that no one would look at me that way again. But how much I missed it. I enjoyed it for a split second before the guilt announced itself. Had I given you the impression I was available? For the first time in my life, I began to assess the possibility of an affair. My marriage wasn't always happy, but I had managed to hold my doubts at bay because I was so determined that I didn't want anyone else. I was sure this was true, until it no longer was. I'm convinced I would have felt the same pull towards you if you were single. I will never know how much my being married was part of my appeal to you. I've never had to reflect on the possible disconnect between fantasy and reality so deeply. I didn't necessarily judge others who had affairs. I just figured it wasn't for me. My happiness is so bound up in the happiness of others. How on earth could I find it at their expense? I told you that I needed to do the right thing. But what is the right thing for you? You asked. I couldn't talk to my friends, so I furiously googled the outcomes and upshots of affairs. Maybe I had hoped to find validation in some kind of unlikely consensus, that they were good for everyone involved. Instead, I found a bunch of unhappiness, vitriol and regret, people whose lives had been ripped apart. Many of the most devastated were the unfaithful ones. I see how easily people slip into these situations. How else do you find out whether that spark, which seems so much brighter than any you've experienced, is real or dramatically amplified by the knowledge that what you want in the moment isn't rightfully yours. Maybe I'm a coward, but I can't start something I know will reap pain if I have a choice not to do it. You may be the one, but I'm not free to find out. It feels like I'm letting you down, and yet I suspect it's me who would ultimately hurt the most. I'm at an age where heartbreaking things have started to happen to those around me. Life is short and increasingly cruel. From a certain perspective, this seems like a very good reason to indulge your own needs. From another, complete idiocy. Why hurt people when you don't have to?